In the previous movie, I showed you how to manipulate worksheets within a workbook. Just as you can add, delete, and rename worksheets, you can do the same with your workbooks. You can also save them, either under the same name or a different one. First, I'll show you how to open a workbook. If I go over to Excel VBA and just create a subroutine, I'll call it workbook test. If I type in the command workbooks, again, this is referring to the collection of all workbooks, and use the open method, then in parentheses, I can type the file name. It can be a literal string, in which case you need to put the value within a pair of double quotation marks, or it can be a variable when you don't. So I will open suggestions.xlsm. And when I press F5, Excel opens the other workbook. You can see that the title bar changed here, but because I was in the Visual Basic Editor, Excel displays all of the code from that other workbook, suggestions.xlsm. Now I'm going to open the immediate window. I could have pressed Control G and show you how to use the activate command, which will show or display another workbook. So if I type workbooks, and then the title of the workbook is workbooks.xlsm.activate. When I press return, Excel implements the change. Now you'll notice that suggestions.xlsm is still shown here. That's because I haven't left the Visual Basic Editor. However, if I press Alt F11, you'll see that I go to the workbooks workbook. If I press Alt F11 again, I'm now in the workbooks.xlsm files Visual Basic Editor. Now let's say that I want to save a workbook from within Excel VBA. To do that, you just type workbooks, and then the name of the workbook, I'll do suggestions.xlsm this time, dot save. When I press return, Excel saves the other workbook. You saw where we had the spinning icon there for a moment indicating the computer was working. There's really no way for me to show you on screen that it saved, but take my word for it, it did. Now let's say that I want to save a workbook under a different name. To do that, I use the save as method. So I just type workbooks, and then the name of the workbook I want to save, I'll do suggestions.xlsm.saveas, and now I can type the file name, file name, colon, equal sign. This allows me to specify the argument, and I will make it suggestions backup, slightly shortened. And when I press return, Excel saves the file. You'll notice that the name of the file changed here on the title bar, and if I go into the main workbook, pressing Alt F11, I now am in the suggestions backup workbook. Now let's say that I want to rename a workbook. To do that, the workbook has to be closed, so I will close Suggestions Backup, and I'll press Alt F11 to go back into the Visual Basic Editor. If you want to create a new workbook, you can do so again from either in the immediate window or up here. I'll move back to the main code module and inside the Workbook Test subroutine. If I want to add a workbook, I can type workbooks.add. Then I can either assign a template, which means that it would work from an existing file, or I can just create a new workbook. When I press F5 to run the code, I get a brand new workbook, and I am in that workbook right now. If I press Alt F11, I'm in the new book. Now the workbook hasn't been saved. That means that I can close it without losing any of my work. One potential use for manipulating workbooks in VBA is to create an automatic backup of an existing workbook. Anytime you want, you can run a macro that creates a copy of the active workbook and saves it to another location.